for us it's very important to have good grades and and to perform right, yeah. and it's That's a very German thing. way let's say and and, <laughs> yes. and maybe our students are missing a bit the fun of it I see yeah, yeah, because yeah. it should be fun to study interesting things right Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat datang teman-teman semua di episode Weir News kali ini, Ruang Akademisi Mendedah Informasi. Kali ini kita kedatangan dosen tamu dari Jerman, Sebastian Waxman. Beliau adalah dosen hukum, jadi di sini topiknya kita akan membahas tentang studying and teaching in Germany. Memang fokusnya itu lebih kepada law teaching atau jurusan hukum, tapi kita akan coba bawa atau melihat juga dari perspektif lain. Okay, Sebastian, are yeah. you comfortable with Bahasa or are you going to continue with English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. It's Actually. our pleasure to have you. <laughs> so we're going to continue with English, yeah? Is yeah, that of okay? course. Of course. Right. Um, so let's start with my first um, first thing that pop up to my, our mind when we talk about the education and teaching in Germany. Um, can you tell us a thing or two that makes German education system is unique to the rest of the world? What makes you think so? Oh, that's that, that's a good a good question because I'm a, I'm a law teacher. Mm-hmm. And I I uh, I worked ten years for the biggest or largest uh, faculty of law in Germany, the LMU in Munich. It's the biggest and the best ranked. I worked right. there for ten years, and I can tell you something uh, about studying law as a main subject. As a as a principal subject, as a uh, as law school, uh, I, I know a couple of things about that. And now I work uh, for seven years uh, for uh, the University of the Bundeswehr for Stefan Kohs, and there I teach law as a minor subject. So it's not anymore a law school, but uh, it's integrated in our business school system. We 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 do economics and uh, a business school and it's a completely different uh, thing to t- uh, to teach law uh, for a minor subject or mm. for a major subject and i did both and i can well uh, tell you a bit the differences between the studying in germany um, major law or a, a minor law for for business or a- economics right and, and 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 your question was was so particular about it and i think the uh, the way to study law in Germany is very peculiar, very particular. Uh, you could guess how long does it take to finish your studies to become a, a lawyer or a judge. And from the first semester mm-hmm. to, 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 to the finish of your studies, you can guess how many years it takes to, to become a lawyer or to become a judge mm-hmm. or um, attorney. The safe answer would be five years at least. Yeah, it's, it's eight years. Eight years, it's eight years. so it close. takes a long, 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 long time. Yeah. Because why is that so? It's not a bachelor or a master thesis, uh, a master program. Mm-hmm. It's not. Right. Uh, to study law as a major, uh, to study law as a major, um, you finish your studies with a state exam. That's the big difference. There is no bachelor thesis. There is no master thesis. There are no credit points. There are no uh, uh, classes in that in that way. Mm-hmm. So uh, every student has to study hard five years to, uh, to pass the first state exam. So what does that mean, state exam? Uh, it's not the university that tests you. It's not the university gives out the exams. Uh, it's it's the state. For example, the state of Bavaria, where where, where I live, mm-hmm. and uh, and every student has to undertake the same exam at the same day at the same hour through whole Bavaria, to, through the whole district. Like like Aceh, Bavaria is is, mm-hmm. a, is a district, district yeah. and it's 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 uh, anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. You don't write your name on your paper of the exam because it's it's co- it's completely objective, anonymous. Everybody does the same. Um, there is no professor that can protect you or something of like course. that because it's it's a written exam, and and it's really hard. In my times, I had to write over ten days, uh, eight days uh, every day five hours of written exam on solving cases we 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 don't have this question and answer thing in our tests Mm -hmm. but we have to solve real cases and we have five hours hours for that and we have to do an expertise how to solve 
these uh, real cases and, and, and we write 30 pages, 40 pages and everybody is on a hurry and it's really a, a big pressure. You, you Normally you would need seven hours to finish this exam, but you only have five and you have to think, where can I cut? And you have to think faster and everybody's under pressure and your your hands are hurting and, and your brain is smoking. And, right, right. And, and it's really a tough exam. In my days, it was eight, eight exams for five hours each. I was really exhausted after that. And that's only the first state exam. And nowadays we have six ex um, uh, exams for five hours. And it's still very exo ex exhausting, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, this kind of um, testing the students makes uh, studying law in German so special. Because it's not bachelor and master. But you have to prepare for these extreme hard conditions. I see. You have to train and... Uh, and our students, how do they get their degree? How do they get their votes in the end? 70% of their final vote, of their final grade, mm -hmm. is taken out of these state exams. They have also an oral part. Somebody will examine you orally, a colloquium. and, and, and But only 30% of your, your end result you take... Uh, with these five years of study, so it's almost worth nothing, these five years of studying at the right. university, because everything counts at the end of, the, of your study. So you have to prepare for this exam. And uh, the matters that are tested in this exam, this can be everything. You, you, you heard five years of lesson and lectures, and you studied books and cases and uh, judgments and so on and so on. And everything can be tested. You have no idea what's coming on you. So everybody is, is, is studying and learning because they are scared. They're really scared uh, in front of this, of this exam. Mm -hmm. and, and this changes the whole life of a student of law because they are scared all the time. They have anxiety problems, depressions. Because I, I know this because uh, it was also my duty at the LMU Munich, <coughs> these, um, the a uh, law school in Munich uh, to talk uh, to to the students who have problems, psychological problems, and also to students who didn't pass the exam, right. uh, who failed. And I said, okay, how how could it happen? Uh, what was wrong? And um, and I advertised them how how they could go on with their lives because you have only two chances to pass your exam. It's one chance and the second chance, second and chance. you fail two times. You're out. Yeah. And then yeah. you, you studied five years um, without any degree. <laughs> you have nothing in your hand, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really a problem because at the end, 10% of the students don't pass the exam. Uh, you, you start in Germany with 15,000 students, um, law students, and 9,000 of these uh, 15,000 students register for the final exam or register. Um, and uh, 12,000, sorry, and 9,000 pass. So we have 3,000 who don't pass and we have some thousands who, who go somewhere else who don't ever register for the final exam because it's too hard, it's too difficult to do something else. And, 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 and our topic is here also teaching. It's so true, yes. um, this final exam changes completely or, or defines completely how I teach. I, I was mm -hmm. a teacher for... 10 years and I, I gave classes and I, I gave these training classes who are, uh, which are so important to pass the exams. So you don't okay. only have lectures by professors, they're important to understand the matter, ah, interesting, and, and uh, you have penal law or you have uh, civil law and all these things. But you have a lot of lecturers like me who train with the students for the final exams. We do training, training. Every week we do training. We do virtual exams we do fake exams we um, one year before the exam starts our students start to exercise these five hour exams they sit there in the library and they they write a like simulation yeah, yeah a, 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 a test exam a virtual exam and i correct it and i give some advice how to to, to get better and, and 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 we have a lot of training I talk to them. You could go. Uh, you could be better trying this or avoiding that, and um, uh, the, the, the phrase your sentence a bit differently. Um, write more on that topic and less on that topic. So you really have to train the students to pass the exam, because it's also no question and answer. They have to solve real cases, and that's a completely different task 
than mm-hmm. just having a, to answer some questions. So they, they they pretend to be a judge and to solve a case and 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 um, uh, write uh, write thirty pages on that. And you have to train that. You don't know that in the first semester of your law studies. You really have to. It takes four or five years to be an expert in writing these kind of examinations and. And, and that was my job. And that is really completely different to, to the rest of the studies in Germany, like business administration, yeah. it's bachelor master, or you do informatics, yeah, uh, or engineering, all these uh, things. But this is a state exam. And this is something really special. And that's why it takes so long for the students uh, to students, register yeah. for... Uh, for uh, the examinations because Mm -hmm. the task is so difficult so they have to learn four or five years because normally a bachelor is over after three years yeah three three years uh, three and a half and then you do a master Uh two years and then you finished your your university career it's five years normally bachelor master and then 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 and 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 for us it's just the beginning (laughs) the law school five years and and after that you have uh, you prepare for your second state exam and, and you leave a university and not anymore at university in that stage. Uh, it's kind of an a, a official state-driven program. Everybody uh, attends mm-hmm. and you will be taught by lawyers and judges and, and, and attorneys. And they will teach you how to pass the second exam. And that's even harder. This is a really a nightmare. It took uh, 11 exams for five hours each so 11 days Mm -hmm. consecutive one after the other uh, five hours five hours next day five hours next day five hours it's really a stress test and it's 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 a stress test um but our foreign students don't uh, don't have to bother because they don't have to pass these exams. Mm-hmm. They can go to Germany, have a good time, and 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 visit the interesting classes, uh, and 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 they don't have to pass these exams. But I thought uh, I talk about this because it's really something very very German. It's it's it's, it's particular. Yeah. yeah, but that's the result of or the price that you have to pay for such an. Uh, quality education, right? If I may share that um, the way that you conducted your um, law school is actually, I think, quite equal to how it is in uh, medical studies in, in here in Asia. The way it's conducted is way different to the to the rest of the programs. But mm-hmm. I think, the, of course, the law program in German is uh, on whole another level, I should say. But yeah, I think, of course, that uh, Indonesia also have to have to learn from how German conduct conducting the um, law school in there. Mm-hmm. Because you know, law enforcement is a crucial thing for us to to run the country, right? I mean, there are, there will be there will be many societies impact if the law is not being enforced properly. So yeah, it's very crucial that the um, law education has to be conducted in a way that um, the quality is being maintained as well, right? Yeah, but but the quality is really high, mm-hmm. and and to get this quality, we have even more uh, strange things going on. Um, we have a, a second system of education. The one is you go to university and for law school, you have private companies who will take tuition money from you, $200 a month, and they will prepare you for the exam because it's so hard and the people are a bit anxious as students. Right. And so we have a, a second system and they will um, focus on the on the main points, on the most important points to pass the exams, on on the basics, and and they will repeat it with you. They they teach it to you, and and then you pay your money mm-hmm. to private companies for uh, getting prepared for the exams, and that's really special. And that annoys the the universities because they are proud of their programs, and they mm-hmm. say, hey, uh, we we do it better than you, a private uh, law firm. But they still exist. More than half of the students go to private um, tuition. Okay. That's really something. Right. <coughs> um, I'm also curious about how the um, lecturers or teachers in general are being maintained on their um, on their quality, right? I mean, here in Indonesia, we have numbers of or number of certifications, um, trainings that we have to follow one after another. And it's quite a tedious work for us to do. I mean, it's, it's time consuming. And it's also distracting us from the actual productive works that we have to, that we're supposed to do, right? Mm-hmm. So, how is it being done in German? Do, do you also have this kind of certification and training for the lecturers? 
Uh, unfortunately not. I would like to have to do that. I have to train everything on my own. Nobody did show me in the first year what what, what I have to wow, do. Oh, interesting. Um, but I worked also nine years for this private law firm, so, so I, I knew a lot about uh, teaching mm. uh, because I, I worked there before I, I, I went to the university, so I was prepared. But I think that's a, a real big problem, and you have different kind of, of talents of your uh, lecturers. Some are good, and some are not so yeah, good that's because true. they have no programs, no 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 education. We we don't have certificate, but what we have is a feedback from the students every year. Okay. So you get a feedback what you can do better, and and are you productive? Are you? Mm -hmm. um, um, do you listen? So that we have. And of course, you talk with your professor about about teaching and what can you improve and 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 and, and these kind of things. But um, I, I miss that actually in our schools, not university, but schools. There's much more certification and education and 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 more knowledge. Mm -hmm. I think there there we can learn from you maybe. Yeah, I think um, I was really surprised that you you say you said that there is no such uh, certification or trainings being required as to to work as a lecturer. But I think the way it's being conducted is just different. Perhaps you guys have it already in your um, previous program that it's already been included, where skills to teach or how to speak in public is already being taught in the previous uh, oh, program. Yes. Oh yes, you have to do a lot of uh, discourses, presentations, yeah. seminars. Um, we have even simulated oral exams. <laughs> you mm. can take part of these. We have mood courts pretending to be a real court. And you no, know, we, we, we have a lot of um, talking professionally in, in law language, let's say, before we um, 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 take our exams. Uh, but that's, I, I did that uh, voluntarily. I, I went to a lot of um, uh, teaching for teachers. I went. I went to yeah. Uh, uh, yeah programs that that helped me to make my paper um, to make my uh, slides better, my PowerPoint slides better, and that. But I had to do it on my activity, on my purpose. Yeah, nobody told me to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, it's also quite good for Indonesia to have such certifications, right? Because uh, sometimes the, as you say, the lecturers can have a different set of skills. Therefore, they require that kind of activity to. To be able to perform better in the class, right? I mean, not everyone is that are good in academic is able to teach. Mm -hmm. I think that's just the fact. So therefore, it's going to be quite crucial for everyone or lecturers to have that kind of certification yeah. and trainings. For me, the the feedback helped a lot from the students. I always read these, and I said, okay, I have to speak louder or more fluently mm -hmm. or. Um, uh, well integrated the students more in, in, in into class and, and talk less and the, I learned a lot I, I teach now differently than to the, what I did 10 years ago okay I see so I think we've been talking quite um, serious or quite um, rigidly in the last few minutes here so I think I would like to change the subject to be more casual here uh, <laughs> so I want to ask something about like um, when you were a lecturer what is the daily course or activities that you have to do in the uh, in your workplace ah. well I changed my place now I work for the University of the Bundeswehr and it's only a, a minor uh, subject law and uh, it's, it's more responsible what I can do now than compared to what I did at the law school at LMU Munich the main uh, uh, university because now I can um, um, supervise papers of students. I couldn't do that before that. I mm. can do seminars on my own. That's what is great. Uh, I, I can choose the topic of the seminars. I, I discuss it with my boss, mm -hmm. Professor Coase, but I can do it on my own. And I, I help the students get better. They come to my office. I can talk more um, individually, one-on-one -on -one with the students. Uh, I, have, I have time for that. That's so great to have time for students And that's one of the benefits of, of smaller uh, universities. You have more time. Each professor or each lecturer has more time for yeah. each student. And I really enjoy that. And I can uh, supervise bachelor thesis and master thesis. And I have training courses. Professor Coase does the lectures. Mm -hmm. And I accompany him uh, with his lectures with training courses to pre prepare the students uh, for the exams. And I enjoy uh, doing that. I do a lot of correction work, examining work, all the written paper, uh, the written uh, tests from students. Oh, it's so much work because, uh, yeah, it's maybe 300 or 400 tests a year and I, I correct them and, 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 and do these things. I do a lot of planning work 
professor course doesn't like to do that i do I a lot of um uh internet you know uh, uh i program our um our rooms uh our time schedule with other professors uh, all the management uh, okay. you know and um Yeah, I, I I enjoy that. I, I, Mary can do everything, so yeah, that's that's really that, mm-hmm. that, that's really fun. You don't have to be a professor to do do responsible work. I see. Uh, in our university, I enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Okay, I think um, I would like just to ask the wrapping or the last question for you. What do you think that um, so far from your perspective, uh, looking at the Indonesian um, education, what can Indonesia learn from from the Germany on how we conduct our education system here? Hmm, first of all, I think we can learn something from you. That right, would yeah. be easier to to answer that question. Maybe we can start with that. Yeah, 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 maybe. I liked it that that you feel like a group here. It's not like this mm-hmm. in Germany. I, I have the feeling uh, today when when I had my, my my lecture, my class, that you feel more like like a group. You you are together. You pray together. You um, yeah. um, You have more. Yeah. And maybe you help your yourself more. Uh, amongst uh, your students and, and say, okay, can I, can I help you with that? And can you help with that? In Germany, it's more little groups of two or three students. Or um, individual. Stay, yeah, they stay together for the whole studies. And, I see. Um, um, maybe that's something you do better than Germany. Right. But the yeah. system, I, I don't know yet uh, enough about okay. the, your system. No problem. I don't yeah, want. perhaps... Um, <laughs> That means maybe you have to visit Pekanbaru more often or longer I, for you to. I would love to enjoy it here. Yeah, uh, um, hospitality it's great here. But yeah, of course that we have lots of things to learn from you guys on how you conduct your um, education system and how you maintain the quality. And um, what else we talk today? I think. Um, Oh, maybe maybe you have more fun than we have. For us, it's very important to have good grades and and to perform. Right, yeah. And it's That's a very kind of German thing. way, let's say. And and, <laughs> yes. and maybe our students are missing a bit the fun of it. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it should be fun to study interesting things, right? And, yeah, that's true. And, and, that's true. And, and we have a bit more like, uh, I want to finish. I want mm. to finish good. I want a good career. And maybe this is different here. I don't know. Yeah, perhaps it's just because of the um, Western and Eastern kind of culture that makes it um, different. But I think um, a bit of both would be the ideal portion, right? I mean, um, perhaps the Indonesian will have to be more focused on their academics, while the German may not um, completely ignore their focus on their work ethic. But perhaps they mm. they need to adjust it a little bit, not just yeah. to ignore it um, um at the uh, whole level right uh, and so we, we can yeah. learn hospitality from you oh i so great <laughs> welcome here everybody's so nice and thoughtful and, and respectful pleasure. so thank you very much that's really you wouldn't get that in germany we are we are we are okay but not <laughs> on your level <laughs> right okay um so i think that's gonna wrap up our all of our um, discussions for today thank you very much once again mr sebastian <laughs> and i'm We are really looking forward for your you. um, next occasion to discuss here in Uir. Okay? I too. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Jadi, baik teman-teman semua. Itu uh, tadi diskusi kita bersama uh, Dr. Sebastian dari Jerman. Uh, jadi, itulah tadi Uir News. Uh, episode kali ini, Ruang Akademisi Menendah Informasi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And I can well, well tell you a bit the differences between the studying in Germany um, major law or a, a minor law for, for business or ac- economics. To study law as a major, um, you finish your studies 
with a state exam. Yeah, so it close. takes a long, 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 long time. For us, it's very important to have good grades and, and to perform. Right, yeah. And it's That's a very German thing. way, let's say. And, and, <laughs> yes. and maybe our students are missing a bit the fun of it. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be fun to study interesting things, right? 